Hi guys, my name is Carrie. Welcome to Attack Tuesday here on Roan Snap. Today I'm going to unbox the Gladius Mini from Chasing Innovation. Um, the Gladius Mini is an underwater drone. If you enjoy what you see today or any of our other content, then feel free to subscribe and hit the notification button. I'm very excited, so let's get right into it. Before I start, I want to say a big thank you to Chasing Innovation for sending the Gladius Mini, but I've not been paid or hired for this video, so you guys can expect an honest and comprehensive review, no worries. If it sucks, I tell you that it sucks. So let's start. Okay, let's do this. Here we go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh crap. Okay, so let's open this up. This way. All right. This looks nice and secure. So there is a thick foam pad on top. Nice. What do we have? First, this is our user manual and the warranty, I guess. We got some overings, some ink caps and some screws. Yeah. Um, what else? So let's start with this. I guess this is the phone holder. And I guess this is the arm for this one. Yeah, that makes sense. All right then. Quite nice. Let's put this back in here. What else? The cables. So there is the USB cable, the charging cables, and I guess this is the communication device. And the controller. Feels quite nice. All right then. And what else do we get? Ah, okay, the saltwater buoyancy. All right then. And what is this? A Chasing innovation towel to drying the unit off, I guess. All right then. So let's take this out and have a look underneath. All right then. So we got the version with the 100 meter tether. I will double check for you guys. Confirmed. Okay, the Gladius Mini itself. Mm. 
let's have a look. So, here we got the 4K UHD camera and the two LED lights. Then we got the five propellers, two here, two here, and one right here. This one will help to hold the depth, uh, so we can actually hold our angle. We will check on this in our review. Um, the Gladius Mini is attachable, so this is the detachment point. Uh, let's turn it around. Ah, oh, okay, so here we got the freshwater buoyancy. This is already attached as default, all right. But let's have a closer look at the specs. We have a size of 38.5 by 22.6 by 13.8 centimeters and a total weight of two and a half kilos. The camera system can record up to 30 frames per second in 4K resolution and up to 120 frames per second in full HD. The two LEDs have a brightness of 1200 lumen each. The maximum speed of the Gladius Mini is about 4 knots. That's equal to 2 meters per second or 7.2 kilometers per hour or 4.5 miles per hour. You can have a range of 50 or 100 meters. It depends on your tether length. The battery system has a total capacity of 5000 mAh and it takes about 1.5 hours for a full charge. These cells give you a runtime of 2 hours with low speed, 1.5 hours with medium speed and 40 minutes with high speed. So, then let's get back to the controller. So we got the on and off button right here. So maybe I can attach this, this one, because this look, I will do this. It's not that easy. Okay, let's get this back in here. And the camera holder. All right then, that looks good. We got a button right here. I think this is to, to lock the depth. And this one over here. I think this is to lock and unlock. All right. And let's have a look, closer look on the communication device. Um, so you can turn it off and on. There's a reset button right, button right here. And what is this? Can I open it? Ah, okay, yeah, makes sense. So this is the detachment point, I guess. Let's try it. Yep, quite easy. Nice. And the other one over here. Really easy, nice, nice, nice. All right then. Okay, so I see that I can open this up. Let's have a look, oh, okay. So there is a slot for the micro SD and the HDMI uh, port. All right, but um, how do I shut this up? That makes no sense. All right then guys, it's the same for this one. The charging cable is the same for over here. Yeah, so it works this way. And I guess it's the same for the 
glad you mini itself. Yeah, so you can't uh, charge it at the same time. You need to have this in your in your hand. All right. Okay, so the question is, how do you charge this? All right, I can see there's a micro USB right here. And it works with this one. All right then. So the question is, is this waterproof? Because this would be quite handy. And this one as well, around uh, water for an underwater uh, drone. I will check on the menu. Controller. A few moments later. Guys, I can't tell you. We will find out later. So let's detach this because there's one more thing. The backpack. So let's open this up. So I guess there's just one main pouch. All right then, yeah. All right, um, I will find out how everything fits in there and then I will just show you. I have no idea if that was the right way, but yeah, we will see later, I think, what is handy or what is not handy. I just saw that there's another pocket. This is a zip pocket, all right. And there's a handle and the straps. Let's try this. All right. So. I'm quite sure that this isn't high fashion, but I think it's quite handy. But it's heavy, definitely. Now guys, we will get everything charged up and ready to go and we will take it out into the lake and see how it performs. So stay tuned for our review coming soon. If it's already done, then you will find it up here. If not, there will be some funny music for you. Um, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification button. Bye guys. <laughs>